Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Snow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony, and with me as usual is Allie. Hello. And we have our final Halloween Snow Globe for 2022 here. We do. And uh, this is a uh, this is a nice snow globe that we have here that needs some help. A little bit. Yep. So, uh, and I'm not sure if this is officially a, a Halloween snow globe, but it is a Harry Potter snow yeah. globe, and uh, they're on a cauldron, so I guess it, it is kind of Halloweeny, right? Right. So, but right. we're going to go ahead and consider it to be, and uh, we're going to see if we can get this done before Halloween, which is a couple of days away. So we're going to hopefully get this all finished up. Um, so well, we've got what well, we've got Harry around. The, we've got we've got the people around there. Right. And uh, then we've got them on books. Right. So the base. Uh, this is a. Uh, let me bring it this yeah. way. This is a uh, solid base right here, and I don't want to move it around too much because I don't want to damage the uh, the figurine inside. But uh, solid base. Uh, the base is a couple of books. Uh, this top one says the history of magic. And then this bottom one says uh, potions. And they've got the, I'm surprised that they put the green one on the bottom. Uh, interesting, yeah. I don't know. Because the green one's smaller. Oh. Uh, so for me, it's weird to see the smaller book on the bottom. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, they have bookmarks right here. Mm -hmm. uh, so inside the globe, obviously, we have uh, Harry Potter. And then we have Ron. And then we have who else? Hermione. Hermione. And then uh, Dumbledore. Dumbledore. And then the owl, whose Hedwig. name is Hedwig. So we've got them around a, a cauldron here, and the cauldron has a bunch of bubbles at the very top of it, and uh, Ron has a a broom. Looks like Harry's got a wand. Uh, Hermione's got some kind of potions in her hand. So, uh, Why did they give him the last name as Weasley? Like, what was she thinking? I don't know. I, I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open this up. Uh, this water is really bad. If you can see, it's got all this. Uh, I don't know what this is. Um, well, well, I, I didn't. I kind of, kind of glossed over the obvious that the uh, the this figurine is dis is disconnected from the uh, <laughs> from the stopper. But we also have all this stuff floating around in it, and this also has some stars in it. Here, let me go ahead and tilt this sideways here. Okay, being careful not to. You might, yeah, you might not be able to see it, but there are uh, there are these large stars yeah. in there. There they go. There's some stars in there. We're going to try to recover those. Yeah. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing fixed up. Okay. All right. We put the uh, globe into a plastic bag here to protect the base. And we're going to bring those hot water up to where the base and the globe meet. Just enough. Just enough. There we go. Okay. So we're going to give this 10 minutes. We'll come back and check it after 10 minutes and let the heat from that hot water uh, soften that glue up and uh, we'll get that globe out of there. All right, this globe has been in the hot water for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. We checked it at 10, it wasn't ready. Boiled some more water, checked it at 20, wasn't ready. It's been 30, let's see, there we go. There we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Yeah, it's a lot looser. Yep. 30 minutes of wow. boiling water to get this thing. I think we've only had one other one that took that yeah, long before. Yeah, exactly, there we go. Okay, so now, <clears throat> All right, there we go. We're gonna get this excess glue off, open this up, get the figurine clean out, it out, clean it up, and, and then, then we'll go from there. Yep. All right. All, All right. right. So we actually started this globe about two days before Halloween, and we really had planned on getting it done by Halloween, but it didn't we work did. out. It did not work out for us, unfortunately. It did not. It did not. So we're well, we're gonna go ahead and finish it since we started it. We are. And so, as you saw, we uh, got it taken apart with the hot water. Now, from this angle, you can probably see all of this stuff. That's, really good. I don't know what that is, but there's all these like flakes of white. It's gross. I don't know what that is in there, but it, it floats <laughs> to the top. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and open this up. Kathy. We're gonna go ahead. And, yes, we're gonna go ahead and get this stopper out of here and see if we can try not to break anything. Exactly. I because you know those um, his broom tips look very skinny. Delicate. Yes. Yeah, since there is no figurine, oh, since the figurine is not attached to the stopper, it should come out pretty easy. There yeah. we go. Okay. And now. Ew. 
Yes, I'm gonna Ew. stick my fingers in there. Hold on, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I can wash my hands. Don't worry. All right. So there is the figurine. Uh, looks like we need to do a little bit of touch-up work on the figurine, and uh, we're gonna hopefully get some uh, some colors that match. Uh, we've got a little bit of gray missing here mm -hmm. on the front. So we're gonna, yeah, we're definitely. I'm gonna paint this and all around the edge there for sure. Yep. And I'm gonna. It's a good thing it's off because I'm gonna do all the edge and just get it right to the bottom. But I mean, other than that, I think the rest of it. I mean, if I had some nice rich purple, I'd do. I, you know. Yeah. But, you know. Uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and clean this up yeah. in the sink with some uh, dish soap and a soft brush. And then we're going to pour all of this out, mm, but and it has stars, I think, yeah, we're right? gonna we're gonna go ahead and recover. We're gonna recover those stars that are in there, and just get rid of all this stuff that's gross. floating in the water. And we'll be right back. Gross. <laughs> all right, so we've cleaned the globe with our handle sponge and some dish soap. We uh, recovered all those stars, which uh, was not easy to recover because unlike uh, with normal, you know, situations. Uh, if you recall all of those white flakes that were floating in the uh, water, uh, we figured out what that is. That was uh, flakes of super glue that was holding the figurine on to the uh, stopper. Mm -hmm. And some of that stuff got down into the stars. We had to dig it all out, but we got it all cleaned up, got all those stars back. So we got that. And then in the process of cleaning the uh, figurine with a soft brush like we normally do with all of our figurines, uh, looks like the paint. Uh, was kind of worn and uh, kind of washed off. Yeah. So we're going to have to go ahead and do a little more repainting than we thought. We're going <clears> to <throat> have to mix up some colors here, and we're going to see yeah. we're going to see what we can do here and yeah. uh, repaint this. So we're going to go ahead and mix up some paint, and we'll come back and see how this uh, progresses. Turns out. Yep. All right. Let's do it. All right, so Allie, uh, Allie finished painting. She Allie ended up painting most of this figurine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, most of it. Uh, I mean, like 90% of this figurine has been repainted. And uh, I think Allie did a damn good job. Uh, Thank you. And uh, I mean, we, we mixed the paint as best we could, but mm -hmm. we, got, we, got it, uh, we got it all repainted. And so we're going to let this uh, dry overnight at least mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully get back to it tomorrow and start putting this back together. So yeah there we go all right all right so we'll be back when this is dry and we'll uh, hopefully get it all back together all right so the paint has had uh actually a couple of days to dry and looks good so now we're going to go ahead and glue this down to the stopper uh you can use uh, super glue gorilla glue or we use zappa gap that was recommended uh, we like Zappa Gap. Zappa Gap works fine because i like to say it like that. daddy likes to say Zappa Gap. she loves it yeah so yeah, we're going to put a drop in the middle <laughs> then we're going to put a few drops around this is supposed to be one drop one per drop. per per square what's five square inches something like that something like so that. this should be plenty okay so mm -hmm. now Allie you can drop that on there make sure it's centered and it should be I'm relying on you I'm off to right, the side here right about there right about there that yeah. looks good now we're gonna hold that down let the glue dry and uh, we'll be back all right so the figurine is now mounted onto the stopper mm -hmm. and uh let me see the paint alley uh one of the things that we we get asked a lot and we forget to mention it whenever we do it is when we do painting on the figurines that uh, when they go in the water we use the uh testers uh model uh paint i believe this is a an, an, an enamel based paint i believe holds up pretty well yeah so and it does well in the water so this is the we use the testers paint. That's what we use on the Santa's living room. Exactly, and it uh, we've got globes that we've done over a year and a half ago, and the yeah. paint still looks good. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna try something a little bit different this time, and we tried this on one of the uh, the Halloween globes. When it comes to adding the glue into the globe, and uh, also we also get a lot of questions about the glue. The glue is goes into the water to help slow down the falling of the glitter or snow, and we have a comparison video. We can show you the different options, which are glycerin baby oil and plain water I hate baby oil. <laughs> so, so what we're gonna do here we have a four and a half inch globe here this four and a half inch globe holds 30 ounces of water so we want to do 30% glue which is the 30% is what we've been using lately so instead of having to measure out the glue like we've been doing before 
uh, what I did was I just went ahead and calculated. We have uh, 21 ounces of water. That's 70% of the water is 21 ounces. And we went ahead and put the stars in here as well to get a, a correct measurement. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this. Ali, if you could hold yeah, that. Yeah, I gotcha. We're gonna go ahead and pour this water into the globe and get all those stars in there as well. Did huh? I get them all? I nope. got uh, all, I got, I missed one, one star. There it is right there. All right, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this the rest of the way with glue. And that'll give us our 30% glue. And this is gonna be a lot faster and easier. Look at that. Look at that, yep. So much quicker and easier. Now, <laughs> um, go ahead and move your hand down. Yeah, and, I think it uh, might be easier for you to hold it. Yeah, so we're Did gonna we go. Do we wanna put any glitter in with the stars? Do you wanna put glitter in with the stars? You know. And as you can see, you stir this up it gets cloudy at first and then it clears up and that's when you know the uh, glue is all diluted. So, okay, Allie's gonna add a little bit of glitter to this. She's gonna use, what's this? Uh, glitz. Glitz, okay, gonna add some glitz to this. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, we're gonna stir that around. So we got stars and glitz. All right, there is the glitz, glitter, and the star combination right there. I haven't decided if I like it. You guys let me know. If we don't like it as a con collective whole, I'll change it. <laughs> yeah, we can always open it back up and do something different. I can't decide if I like it or not. I'll have to see it all put together. Okay, so now we're, right. we're going to go ahead and put the... Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that figurine into the uh, stopper. Okay. I mean, uh, excuse me, the figurine into the bowl. <laughs> all right, so... We're gonna go ahead and wet the stopper. And then we're going to go around and lower that stopper into the globe as evenly as we can. Hmm. Okay, we like to use this little screwdriver here. We'll put that in between the stopper and the globe to uh, allow the air to escape easily. Makes it a lot easier to get the uh, stopper in there. Okay, you want something to dump it in? Why not? All right. We've got the uh, stopper all the way in, flush with the uh, globe. We've got a couple of uh, air bubbles here. We're gonna let this settle. And then we're going to uh, get those air bubbles out once all, this, all the bubbles have settled. All right, so we got the bubble all consolidated up here. We stuck a little screwdriver in here to let the air out. Uh, you could also use a uh, pair of needle nose pliers to pull the uh, stopper back, but this is what works for us. Uh, you lower it down into the water, get the air bubble up to where the screwdriver is at an angle there, and then just open up the stopper and let the bubbles out. And now we'll check, make sure there's no bubbles. Bubbles. No bubbles. Looks good. All right, now while the globe is still underwater, we'll remove our screwdriver. Or if you're using the needle nose pliers, just let the uh, stopper close. And then there we go. Voila. No bubble. All right. Let's put her back together. Mm -hmm. All right, so the globe's all dried off. And we are going to go ahead and put a bead of glue around the perimeter of the opening of the uh, base here, and then we're just gonna drop it in. Mm -hmm. And it should be just fine. Here we go. All right, drop her in. There we go. Push it down. All right. We're gonna go ahead and let it uh, let that draw glue. That <laughs> we're gonna let that glue. <laughs> we're gonna let the glue cool, and then we're gonna cool. take a look at it. Yeah. All right. There is the finished globe right there. All. Something to see it put together and standing upright. Yep, it's not the the, the, the figurine <laughs> is not detached and sitting in there sideways. We don't have all that uh, all those white flakes uh, that turned out to be a bunch of uh, 
deteriorated super glue. And uh, as you saw, we had to repaint the figurine mm -hmm. and we uh, went with the 30% glue. We recovered the stars that were in there to begin with. And Allie added some glitz, some white uh, glitz uh, yeah. glitter. And uh, we got it all back together. Yeah. Okay, so let's, uh, let's shake it up and see how she looks. Hey, not bad, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the thirty percent glue is working well with these stars yeah. and the glitter. As you can see, they're they're hanging out there for a little bit, especially the glitter. We can do the old spin here and get that uh, get everything going in a circle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I think it turned out well. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get it done in time for Halloween, but uh, you know what? We 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 still got her done. Uh, yeah, things have been a little crazy, but uh, let's shake her up one more time, and uh, there we go. Harry Potter, The History of Magic. I guess Harry Potter and Friends, Around a Cauldron. There we go. So uh, let us know in the comments what you think. And uh, hopefully you'll join us on the next video, which hopefully will be soon. And until then, everyone, uh, be safe and take care. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.